Hey there! If you're still hunting for a no-fuss gaming laptop like the last Acer Nitro 5 we discussed, but want it for less, I've got just the one for you. It's still an Acer Nitro 5, but this one's the Nitro 5 ANV15-51-73B9. It's much more affordable, with understandably lower specs, but are they really that low? Let's dive in and start with the price. Compared to the i9 and RTX 4060 Nitro 5 we looked earlier, this version packs an i7-13620H and RTX 4050, and its price reflects that. While the i9 and 4060 model sits just under $1,200, dipping to around $1,000 at its lowest, this i7 and RTX 4050 model comes in at just under $900. But here's the kicker. The three-month price history shows it's been as low as $700. That's a huge saving if you're patient, and I'd wait if I were you. At $900, it's not the best value just yet. Now let's look at the specs. The i7-13620H offers 10 cores and 16 threads with a max turbo of 4.9 GHz. That's still a strong CPU, and it's paired with a solid RTX 4050 GPU. With 6 GB of GDDR5 VRAM, the 4050 can easily handle 1080p at high settings, though 1440p might require a few tweaks. RAM remains the same at 16 GB and is upgradable for those who need more. Let's talk performance, starting with Red Dead Redemption 2. At 1080p high settings and DLSS turned off, the laptop averages around 60 FPS, which is still impressive for such a graphically intense game. Now, Cyberpunk 2077. On Ultra with ray tracing, DLSS, and frame generation off, it delivers a solid 40 to 50 FPS. That's definitely playable, especially for a story-heavy experience. Flip DLSS on for smoother gameplay if needed. Finally, Fortnite. At 1080p on Epic settings with DirectX 11, the laptop pulls an average of 80 FPS. If you want even more frames to dominate, lowering the settings will help. The display is a 15.6-inch 1080p IPS panel with a 144Hz refresh rate. With great viewing angles and smooth visuals, it's perfect whether you're gaming casually or competitively. Connectivity is identical to the previous Nitro 5, Wi-Fi 6, same ports, all still there and just as useful. That's everything on this gaming laptop. If you're interested, check the link below. Personally, I think 512 gigabytes of SSD storage isn't quite enough, and I'd also upgrade the RAM if I were you. You'll find links for both products below, or just scan these QR codes and check them out on Amazon right now. This has been Marty, and I'll be seeing you on the next video. Cheers!